Hello everybody, Ching Sparks here and I'm this is gonna be a GIMP tutorial like the past two ones I had and I'm gonna teach you guys how I make this lightsaber effect you um, and changing this Spartan the 300 State of Empire the uh, the movie to make it look a more like a cooler effect to make them change it into a more of a Star Wars kind of effect of course this is a GIMP tutorial and you, you do require GIMP for this. I am using GIMP Portable and this is the outcome that you will receive so this is what you will be aiming for when you finish this pro when you finish doing this project. Um, I'll just be focusing on this one this particular lightsaber on this guy's hand because uh, it gives me the best effect. This one not really um, let's see this one is not really and this one is a little cool you see like a kind of metallic cobalt uh, like a metallic color but not that best not the best so um, yeah so let's get on to teaching you guys how to do this there will be a link in the description to download a particular um, image that I have found for the Spartan if you just open up the image you have to go to open um, let's just go work with a A4 a A4 image so we'll go to new A4 horizontal and click OK this is a new A4 image. This is not an A4 sized image. When you open as layers, you open this particular image up as layers. You will you'll find this here. So it will basically be the original image. So this is the original. I should show you the original. This is the original. This is the after original. The first thing we just want to do is actually res resize this image. So what you guys want to do is go to image, scale image, and you would like to move this scale this image, I mean, um, scale the image to, um, whatever you guys want to. Uh, basically, since mine is a A4 size paper, I'm just going to make it an A4 size. 29209, if I'm not wrong, let me just check. New, if you guys want to check all the A4 sizes, I just go here, compare 208, 209.97, 209.97, .97, and 297.01. 297.01. Uh, click this unchain. Uh, if you put, if you don't click the unchain button, it will just make it a complete square. Um, sorry about that. Uh, then you just change this back to 297. You scale the image and let it process. And if you look at this, it's kind of weird. So something went wrong over here. Um, let me just scale the image again. Um, two zero nine. I I don't know if this is the right coordinates. Um, A four. Oh no 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 no. I reversed it. Oops. So this is two nine. Let me just unchain this. Two nine. Um, uh, zero one. And you can find this on my Deviant Art page, which is. Um, which I'll have a link down below in the description so you guys can actually find that. So let, just let it scale to the image size. Uh, and finally, this is at the correct image size. As you see that the image is not exactly, it may not be in the center. So just use the alignment tool over here, click onto the image, onto the layer, and just click these two buttons to, send, to make it to the center horizontally and vertically. What you want to do now is um, you can remove the background layer. I'm just going to remove that. And let's just create a new layer with the foreground color which is going to be black and you make this as um oops you change this to um screen the, you change the mode to screen then from this right now you you will uh, use your path tool to align uh, your item to the to uh, to draw the path of the sword which you want to if you want want it to be a uh, path I'm just gonna do a basic outline. Um, just gonna keep doing this. You just do this first. Don't care about the curves. The curves can be solved later. Um, just click and outline the image. Image, and you shift this over. So now we zoom in to align the image more carefully. Uh, yep, and you shift and adjust these images a hit 
I'm trying to make it a uh, more like a lightsaber like. Uh, yep. Um, so this should be good. Uh, you will actually want to make this. This should be good. So, so what you like to do next is click selection from path, and then you um change this, switch this four colors and red color, and make this white. Turn the selected area white. Uh. Then I'm just going to switch back the four color and background color. So as you can see, if I blank out this area, you'll see this white area here. Then next, go to select, none. So you'll leave, leave it as like these. So it's going to be pretty cool. What you want to do next is you'll duplicate this layer three times. I'm just going to name this layer, um, edit layer. I'm just going to name this la layer the blue light saber. This is going to be the copies of the blue lightsaber, so let me just delete, delete these copies. So you guys will know that I will make duplicates, the blue lightsaber duplicates. <clears throat> so the first one you will go to is the, the last one, which is the original one. You go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, set this to 5. I'm just going to do a quick image, you see, Gaussian blur 5 is around like that. Well, hold on guys, wait a while. Sorry about that guys, and so after you guys have actually duplicated this and you gave this the Gaijun Blur um, What you're gonna do is go click on this, the, the top of the layer above it It will actually be called um, Lightsaber Copy, this is the first copy Go to Filters, Reshow Gaijun Blur And change this to 20 And you'll see this is more of a faded out effect Let, let the Gaijun Blur take effect And you can see it's gonna get a little bit blurry uh, then go to the last one, go filters, we show Gaijun Blur, and go to 40. 40, and you allow that to happen. And you'll see this glowing effect it gives off here. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, then you, what, what you want to do is just merge down the current layer to the bottom, and you see the whole thing turns black. Go to the um, mode select, and go to screen, so the thing comes back. Merge down again, and go to screen. Um, after you guys have gotten this, duplicate the layer once to make the blur more sharper and then you just merge down, screen. You can choose to duplicate one more time to make it super, um, super obvious. You can merge down and go screen again. So it's going to be a very nice lightsaber effect. Then you can just um, go to colors, um, color balance. And as you guys can see here, you guys only need to care about this bottom area here. And you can see cyan, magenta, and yellow. Um, since I'm gonna make this a blue lightsaber, I'll push this down aside to a closer side to the blue. I can change this a bit to make this look more a little bit like a purplish blue. And I will change a little bit purplish blue. It's gonna be a little a uh, very cool. As you guys can see, you will can't really see the image. So what you guys wanna do is just make make um, another three more copies and at the previous time uh, instead uh, you would like to go to reshow um, and just do 40 so this is the original one and you'll make just change this to 40 you go to filters it doesn't really matter how you arrange it you can just keep adding to it to, as a 40 uh, depending on what, what you like if you're gonna add another 40 it will look this blurry, which I don't think is really nice. It looks more like some kind of plasma swap or something like that. So I don't really think it's nice. So I'm just going to control Z that to make this look like a nice little effect. So it looks more like a lightsaber. You can see that nice little purpley bluish glow um, that's giving up. And so you can what you can do now is you can just um, let's see, merge down. You can merge down the layer. It's taking a while because the software is lagging. Yeah, my software is lagging. Wait a while, guys. Um, so that is a very good effect if you have like some kind of like video editing or you have like an image or project in school where you guys want to just edit the photos to make it look more cool. You can just do this, and it'll be really, really, very, um, very big, and it's gonna be really cool. Um, I'll cut back to you guys when it has stopped crashing.
uh, when it start and it starts being more. Um, um, so it turns out, guys, that I just lost the board because the whole software crashed. It may happen for the game portable. Uh, so let's just create a new layer. Just, just do the same things you did just now. Do, do, what, do what I just did so that it's gonna be. Uh, it's just gonna be the, basically the same steps. Um, it's it's very laggy for now. I have no idea why. Uh, let's just zoom in. Do the same thing. Create the paths to victory. And let's just make. A nice little, nice little path that leads all the way up here. So that should be good. Um, so just selection from path. This is basically like a recap. You just go out there and fill this, fill it in with. I mean, oops, fill it in with white. So it's nice and white. So then you go select none. Uh, duplicate the layer three times. The first layer, go to filter and blur, Gaussian blur, go to 5 pixels, I'll let enable that. Go to the second copy, go to reshow Gaussian blur and change this settings to 20. And then you just click OK. Go to the last one and you go to reshow Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, whatever you have to call it, and go to 40. So it gives this nice little glowy effect. It's a little pointy at the tip, but it don't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then, if you guys would like to, you can just duplicate this. Um, I'm just gonna uh, merge these layers first. I'm just gonna merge down, as you know, screen. Um, merge down, and then screen. Then you can, I'm just gonna duplicate the layer. Uh, twice to make it look cool, merge down, screen, merge, you know, oops, uh, merge down, and screen. So you see, this is a nice little glowy effect. Then, go with what, what you like to do is go uh, color, colors, color balance, cyan, uh, and then you'll see these options at the bottom cyan, which is red, magenta, green, and blue. You like to actually, since this is going to be a uh, blue color light, like what I said just now. I would actually like to adjust it to about a nice little bluish, a uh, bluish purplish effect like this. Um, if you guys do not, if you guys think that's not enough, you can just duplicate the layers. Like what I'm doing now, so you guys can see this nice little intense light. But I'm not just gonna delete one layer. So it's not that intense. Do the same thing. You can do screen, merge down, screen. You can duplicate the layer and choose to change the effect like dodge, addition, multiply, burn, or all those cool stuff. But I just prefer to have a double layer, merge down, and just keep it um, a nice little glow to the lightsaber. You can do that to the rest of the image. Change this guy's sword, change this guy's sword, and you can probably gonna get um, an image close. To um, this, which is pretty cool. Um, let me just wait a while. Uh, you can make this, as you see, I did the one which is uh, a little bit more accurate than this one. Um, I did uh, one with a nice little hue coming out of it, and it was a green color, a red color, and a magenta color. Um, and you know, I also saw I got a, a shield, a transparent shield. I also tried a, you can also try your imagination uh, with, um, what do you call it, uh, let's see, like the image. Um, I think I forgot to plug in my, my microphone. Um, hi guys, whoops. Uh, So you guys are just, uh, oh yeah, it's here, here. So you can try your imagination and try to make it something like this, which is on the space. I, I'm still trying to outlay this properly. But you see, I just made it on space and they are all on space now. It's pretty cool. You can try, you can test this out, play around with the cool effects, and you can make this or this. 
I, uh, actually, I prefer this because this has the nice side glow effect thing with the light coming out, and this doesn't really have it. Just cause the image is very big. If the image is too big, like what I did just now, like you can just duplicate it. I mean, duplicate it once. Go to the duplicate layer, and then add a Gaussian blur that is like forty or something really big. Then, then automatically you see that there's a nice little blur that comes to it. And you can just merge down, and then you can put it as screen. So you look, you look a bit more prominent. Uh, yeah. So it's pretty cool. You can try this lightsaber effect. Um, hope you guys do enjoy today's tutorial. Sorry for the audio clip just now. It was a little bit buggy. So yeah. So sorry about that. So hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys did, um, subscribe to my channel and all that fun stuff. And I hope you guys do enjoy. See you guys soon.